Type 2 topoisomerases are essential enzymes that help regulate the state of DNA superhelicity and ensure proper chromosome condensation and segregation in the cell. Type 2 topoisomerases are differentiated from type 1 topoisomerases because they catalyze double-stranded breaks in the DNA, hence type 2. Within type 2 topoisomerases, there are two classes, A and B. Class B is found only in archaea, so I chose type A. And within type 2A topoisomerases, humans have two isoforms, alpha and beta respectively. I chose to analyze the structure of topoisomerase 2 alpha, which has a larger role in chromosome segregation and DNA replication, and tends to be expressed in more proliferating tissues. This makes topoisomerase 2 alpha a cancer cell marker and the target of some really cool anti-cancer drugs, and its function something really worth looking at to me. For the sake of my breath, we'll start calling topoisomerase 2 alpha top 2A. I won't really be mentioning other types of topoisomerase isomerases from here on out. So to begin, what does TOP2A do and why should I care about it? Well, TOP2A is responsible for the selective cleaving, rearranging, and religating of DNA strands, which helps untangle the chromosome, thereby changing the state of DNA in the cell. DNA has various states of coiling in the cell, so during replication, one of the major problems is that DNA can become far too coiled after being unzipped by helices. Without alleviation, the cell risks DNA breakage or halt in replication, neither of which is good. Enter top 2 a It cuts both strands of a DNA duplex, passes another DNA duplex through the cleaved one, and religates the cut duplex to release tension. Of course, that's an oversimplification. Cutting DNA is a risky operation, and if not handled properly, it damages the state of chromosomes and can result in cell death. top 2 a acts in a highly controlled and regulated manner to not only carry out its function, but also reduce the risk of a double-stranded break gone wrong. To be more precise, top 2 a catalyzes a reversible enzyme bridge double-stranded break. top 2 a is a homodimeric protein. Each subunit structure can be broken down into three major components that are connected by hinged-like regions, the N gate, the DNA gate, and the C gate. Not too surprisingly, the end gate is where the end terminus is, but more importantly, this is where the DNA duplexes enter the enzyme. The DNA gate is where majority of the catalytic activity of the top 2A takes place. Conformational changes of the DNA gate are connected to conformational changes to the C gate, where DNA duplexes exit. Each catalytic event carried out by top 2A relieves two coils of the DNA. Within the DNA gate, there are three important domains, the topoisomerase primase, top rim domain, the winged helix domain, and the tower domain. The topoisomerase primase domain is where metal ion binding occurs. Two aspartates at positions 541 and 543 coordinate a single magnesium 2 plus ion in place. Glutamic acid 461 hydrogen bonds to the 3 prime OH strand, and arginine 804 binds to the phosphate of DNA that gets cleaved by tyrosine. The DNA gate also contains a smaller region called the intercalating site. It contains an isoleucine at position 856, which is responsible for wedging itself into DNA, helping to create a bend that creates bond strain and makes the rest of the enzyme's catalytic activity easier. The winged helix domain contains a catalytic amino acid residue, tyrosine 805, which carries out a nucleophilic attack on the DNA backbone, creating a phosphodiester bond between the DNA and enzyme. This activity is readily reversible as top 2A is responsible for cleaving DNA and resealing it once it has relieved tension between the two duplexes. The winged helix domain is also super special in the sense that its catalytic region will only take on very specific configurations, and this actually helps couple DNA cleavage status with allosteric control over the C gate where both duplexes leave. The tower domain provides structural support for the DNA. Top 2A starts out with its end gates dissociated, allowing it to bind a DNA duplex, passing it through the end gate and binding at the DNA gate. Binding at the DNA gate causes a significant one 130 degree bend, give or take a couple degrees. This first duplex is termed the G segment, for gate segment. As mentioned before, the intercalating isoleucines from each subunit wedge into the DNA to create this conformation. The end gate contains an ATPase region, and ATP binding here triggers the binding of a second DNA duplex at the end gate. Binding of ATP also causes the previously separated end gates to dimerize and close, locking in the second duplex. The second duplex is called the T segment, for transport segment. Closing the end gate simulates conformational changes that promote the cleavage of the G segment, which is helped by the fact that that 130 degree bend on the duplex puts bonds under significant stress. Once the G segment has been cleaved, it remains bound at the DNA gate, but the DNA gate opens to allow the T segment to exit through the open C gate. Then, the DNA gate closes again to re-ligate the G segment before releasing it. That about sums up top 2A's enzymatic process for now. But remember how top 2A was also an, an important target of anti-cancer drugs? 
How does that work? Cancer cells are characterized by rapid replication and therefore exhibit high levels of topoisomerase 2 as a result. The class of drugs that inhibit topoisomerases are called atopicides. The specific conformation and alignment of amino acid residues in relation to target DNA help TOP2A retain catalytic activity without letting its function go haywire. Anti-topoisomerase agents that bind within the DNA gate alter these conformations, changing the position of important residues. The result is a stabilization of the DNA TOP2A complex, which is normally transient. When this is stabilized, it is discouraged from re-ligating and dissociating. An accumulation of these complexes essentially results in a bunch of cleaved DNA in, in the cell, initiating cell death pathways. Okay, so top 2 a cancer drugs sound like they work pretty darn well, right? But like most things in medicine, there's a catch. One of the challenges researchers and pharmaceutical companies alike face is that anti-cancer atopicides target both top 2 a and top 2 b And in some patients, it results in acute myeloid leukemia during treatment. This is because top 2 a and top 2 b are expressed in different types of tissue stages, but still retain the same highly conserved region of catalytic activity that atopicides target. Obviously, trading one cancer for another is less than ideal, so some top 2 a related research aims to find regions of the DNA gate that aren't conserved between top 2 a and top 2 b Well, that's about it for top 2 a today, so thanks for listening.